what is up guys we are back with another bios video and this time we're checking out the bios here on the asrock b450 steel legend motherboard the steel legends are the new kind of b450 motherboards that asrock is going with and we're going to go over the bios and show you all the different features that it offers now the one thing that's really interesting about this bios is there's no easy mode typically with most modern bios is we see like an easy mode we see a page where you know we can change our xmp profile set our boot priority um, maybe do like a one click overclock or something like that but with this motherboard which is weird because older asrock motherboards and their z390 line had an easy mode but here you don't have it um so when you load into the bios you are on this main screen right here and this is going to tell you everything that you you know that you have kind of installed so you have our uh, BIOS version, which is really important. So if you're looking to update, you can see your version right here. Um, our processor, processor speed, um, our uh, caches and our total memory. Not a whole lot on this main page. The OC tweaker tab up here, this is where you're gonna do all of your overclocking and system tuning. So, you know, um, to, to update your CPU frequency or do some overclocking, remember B450 does support overclocking, which is really nice. Um, so you can go here and you can set it to manual and then we can change our frequency. We can change it and change our voltage all right here. So they make it really easy. There's not a whole lot to change when it comes to overclocking on this platform, um, but it's just all right here. And then uh, we go down to DRAM and it's really easy to load XMP now. You just, you know, set it and you load it. It's that easy. And um, you could go into your DRAM timings if you want. Maybe if you want to do some, you know, memory overclocking or Titan timings, you can go through and do all of your timings there. And uh, your voltages as well, it's all right on this page. Um, so you can change, you know, you might want to mess with your load line calibration if you're doing overclocking, of course, your V core and everything like that you can go ahead and do that and you can save and load profiles which is nice so you know if you have like an overclocking profile or something like that you can easily go ahead and save that is pretty much it for the oc tweaker so again you can you know overclock your cpu you can set your d your dram and overclock it as well as uh change all your voltages all on this page under advanced again this is everything that's kind of on your board so you know you can enable and disable different cpu features north bridge south bridge storage configuration again um set your sata modes and all that kind of stuff and you can see the things that we do have installed super io acpi your trusted computing, uh, you know, if you have a TPM device installed, AMD CBS, AMD PBS, and uh, you know, your full HD UFEI and active page on entry. Again, you can change the page that loads when you go into the BIOS. So for most people, you just want it to go to the OC tweaker. So you can actually set that, which is kind of nice, but again, no easy mode, which is a little bit disappointing, but I do like it that, that, that you know, you can set the page that loads when you actually go into the BIOS. Under tools, uh, we can actually adjust the RGB LEDs on the uh, controller or on the board before we, you know, load the uh, ASRock software. So um, we have it set to static, but you can kind of do, you know, whatever you want here. Well, you know, we can switch it to rainbow if you want and you can change the speed and things like that. Um, really cool and you can apply it to all the channels and I just did it, I'm looking at the board and it actually changes right there. So it's really cool that you can adjust the RGB LEDs before even installing Windows. Easy RAID installer easy driver installer and uh ssd secure erase that's nice to have that um you know some ssds don't offer ssd toolbox software which allows for secure erase so you have it here and then you have your instant flash um we actually use this to flash our bios to the latest version before we're making this video super easy to do you just plug a flash drive into the, your system and then hit instant flash and it will go ahead and read that and easily update your bios just super easy to do hardware monitor this gives us all of our live information on our board so as you can see here you know we have cpu and motherboard temperatures fan speeds and our voltages 
fantastic tuning or fan tuning uh that's an auto fan which is i guess gonna run uh so we'll go ahead and let that run all right so the fan tuning um is an auto tune feature basically um what it will do is it will go through and test all your fans that you have connected to your motherboard including your cpu fan and kind of set up the fan curves for you so you can see that it has been completed it takes about i would say like two or three minutes to do depending on your fans and it will go ahead and do all of that for you um so then when i hit okay we had this is set to customize um you know but you can go ahead and change that but uh going back into fantastic tuning this is a really cool thing that you can go ahead and set all of your curves so you know different things that you can do uh, with your fans. You can set curves, as I said. You can see this one is set up because we ran the tuning um, and all of that. You can just set different modes like silent, standard, performance, full speed, and of course, the customized one is the one we did when we ran the tuning itself. Um, and then you can set these all yourself as well. So like, you know, you can set your different fan settings and all that kind of stuff if you want. and all the different fan settings and pump settings and, and just all that kind of stuff you can go ahead and do right in here. And then under security, you can just set up a supervisor password and a user password. You can set up secure boots, um, all that kind of stuff. And then under boots, you can select your boot options. Uh, if you want to enable or disable fast boot, boot from LAN, all that kind of stuff that has to do with boot, you can do. And then under exit, um, we have save changes, discard changes, uh, low the defaults, which I love to see. And we do have boot override. So, you know, when you're installing Windows, I say this in all our BIOS videos, boot override is great because you can boot from say like a flash drive that you have Windows on. And then when it restarts, you don't have to hurry up and unplug that or worry about that. It will just boot to the hard drive right after. Super simple um, and really easy to do here with boot override. So this BIOS is pretty basic, I would say. Um, not a whole lot to it. Again, that easy mode is something that I would really just like to see, especially for beginners. While, you know, most of the features here are really easy to find, especially like everything for overclocking. Like I said, is an OC tweaker. Everything, you know, for your onboard devices in it is in, is in advanced. Um, all your tools are here and you have stuff for hardware monitoring and everything like that. Like it's easy to find, but just having an easy mode that's a little bit more uh, graphical and just easy to use, especially for beginners would have been nice. Um, but that's gonna wrap it up here for this BIOS overview. Now, if you have any questions about this BIOS specifically, go ahead and let us know in the comment section below. And if, you know, if this video helped you out or anything like that, and you, you know, really like our tech content, go ahead and subscribe. Till next time, catch you guys later.